So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a quick demonstration of SAP Business Objects Explorer, which is one of the applications which is available uh, for use on the iPad. You just go to the App Store and you can download this application. So I've done that, I've got it loaded up, and I'm going to go ahead and start up the application. So what you'll see when I first come into um, the Explorer is I've got two choices. I can go and I can access an SAP Business Objects Explorer deployment sitting inside my firewall or I can utilize business intelligence on demand. So I'm going to use the BI on demand connection and you can see I've got my own account set up. So I'll go ahead and I'll log into that account. Now BI on demand is really really uh, a great tool to use and what I've done is I've actually got BI on demand populated with some data from SAP Business One. But of course with BI on demand you can populate data from just about any application into the system and then access that through this interface. So for example, I've taken some detailed item sales information and I've put that up onto my BI on demand application. So I'm just going to go and access that now. So I just click on detailed item sales by business partner. And what you'll see um, is the system has automatically um, rendered out the data for me. So across the top you'll see these are the different dimensions, the different columns of information that is actually inside my spreadsheet. And what I'm looking at right now, the system's determined that the best way to look at this data is to go ahead and show me my revenue by country. And that's what you can see in my graph down here. So let's say, for example, I actually want to see revenue by product. Well, all I need to do is click here on this dimension. I'm going to change that dimension so I'm looking at it by item description. So then the system goes ahead and it re-renders that information in that format. So if I'm looking across here in the grid, this is where I've got all of my products that are actually available for me to analyze. If I'm looking for a particular product, all I need to do is just click on it here and you'll see Cross here on the side, that's automatically highlighted for me. Now, I can go one step further and I can drill down to that specific product by clicking on it over here in the grid. And so now I'm looking at the sales for that product, for that one product only, and it's showing me the product up here by country. Let's now go back though, uh, and I want to look at that. I'm going to get rid of that definition. So I'll just close that. That now brings me back to all of, my pro, um, all of my data and I'm looking at it by Build 2 Country again. So let's go here into Build 2 Country and I'm going to go back by item description again. Makes it nice and easy to view. Now, I want to add an additional dimension. What I want to do is I also want, not only do I want to see the item sales, but I also want to see item cost. So I just click on my plus here to add an additional dimension and I'll choose item cost. So what the solution is doing now is it's going to go ahead and render it for me in the format that it thinks is the most appropriate. But I want to change that graph. I'd like to see that in a bar graph. So again, I just click over here on my graphs and then I choose that I want that actually in a bar graph. System re-renders that and again, you can now see I've got that data um, being shown to me side by side. And then of course, same thing as I did before, I can go and I can drill down on an addition uh, on a specific product. And then I'm just getting item cost and item sales side by side by um, by country. Okay, so I can see this this product uh, in these two different countries. Here is my sales revenue and here is my item cost as well. So that's just a quick example uh, of how you can access that data uh, and how the business, ex business Objects Explorer application renders that up onto the iPad.